Well, anticipation is building for the Merry Monarch Festival starting on Wednesday. And our Kristen Concilio reports how some Oahu Halau are pre preparing for the world's biggest hula competition. The, the um, stadium is that, that changes your perception. So. This I year's mean, Merry Monarch is extra special so for Kumuhula Kailihiva Von Darval. Uh, That's because her youngest daughter Kahula is dancing for the first time on the Merry Monarch stage, the same stage she won Miss Aloha Hula in 1995. <laughs> She's the kumu of Halau Hula Kalehua Tuahine, one of five Halau preparing a little differently this year for the coveted competition right here at home on Oahu. For the first time, Oahu Halau had a chance to practice on an exact replica stage in Kapalama. It's difficult to kind of mirror what happens at Mary Monarch, so it's overwhelming for some students and so we do everything we possibly can to, pre to prepare them in the you know in the spirit because it, it's the kind that like you get up there and go Ugh, you know so <laughs> so you want them to feel makauko in all senses not just in the hula but also in their spirit and in their mind. The Pa'i Foundation partnered with Kamehameha schools to lease space inside Dillingham Plaza where they recreated a stage with exact dimensions to the Edith Kanaka Ole Stadium. Our Oahu Island um, for us to be able to pro provide somewhere for us to get makauko and send uh, the representatives of Oahu to Hawaii Island prepared and at our best meet the rest of the um, halo at the greatest show in the world. And it's made a huge difference. This space is actually amazing because <laughs> now I know how the stage feels like. Kumuhula Victoria Holt Takamine will be back to perform for the first time in almost 40 years. <laughs> She's leasing the space and invited other halal to practice there. None of the dancers that I'm taking have ever been on a Mary Monarch stage, ever. So they're all virgins. Having that experience of knowing exactly how you're getting on stage, where your lines are going to be moving, where in the space that you're going to be performing, and then walking off and being comfortable about that, I think it's going to be a game changer for all of us. The competition is something many halal prepare for all year long as they put their best foot forward to make their halal proud. It's been such a great experience so far and being able to practice in this space and being able to get this experience and go on this journey with all my hula sisters, it's been memorable and I would love to take this experience and use it throughout my rest of your hula journey. Rest of my hula journey. <laughs> Kristen Concilio, Island News. Hey!